As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to impact lives, the opioid epidemic has been relentless. People are losing their jobs or struggling with isolation. Overdose rates are up. Jacksonville Fire Rescue is answering the call. News for Jax reporter Janice Harris rode along with Jacksonville Fire and Rescue to see what it's like during a COVID-19 pandemic and an opioid epidemic. And we learned a lot during that ride along. This is the data that shows that the overdose calls the JFR is receiving have gone up significantly from 2019 to 2020. Overdose calls in Jacksonville are trending up again. For us in the field, it's not, it's sadly, it's a an everyday call. Captain Eric Prosswimmer works behind the scenes. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter your upbringing. It doesn't, wherever you live, it doesn't matter. It hits everybody. Today on this rare ride along with JFRD, we are headed to the west side. Do you think that COVID is adding even more stress to people that maybe already had addiction? Absolutely. I think I think COVID is adding more stress to everybody. 2016, JFRD peaked with 356 overdose calls. 180 of those calls were opioid related. Fast forward to 2020, the number is up to 385 overdose calls and 243 are opioid related calls. It's a life 26 year old Glenn Carter is too familiar with. I spent my whole life since I was like eight, 17 on the streets and doing everything that's known to man. And I just had enough of it. He's been sober for eight months and counting. In the 11 months that you've been there, you've had other friends that have died because they over. Yeah. I had 10 friends OD. Carter has found refuge at Richard Preston's local sober living house. He too has recovered from addiction. Preston believes COVID, housing, isolation, and a lack of in-person support meetings is triggering people struggling with addiction. But because of COVID, a lot of the places have reduced uh, their beds almost as much as 50%. During our ride along with JFRD, we arrived at a possible overdose call. We turned off our camera as we approached for privacy reasons, but it turns out this was not an overdose. However, there was one earlier in the day. JFRD averages at least one a day, if not more, a reminder that addiction is still happening and it's becoming a dangerous way for some to cope during COVID-19. And Preston is encouraging people to check on your loved ones if you know they are fighting addiction. And also, Carter said that he plans on doing other things with his life. He plans on getting his GED and also becoming the owner of a tree removal company. We wish him the best and encourage anyone that is dealing with addiction to seek help. Reporting live from Fire Station 1, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.